plays games with Steve and Angel. Mystic Maya, Mystic Maya. Mm. There, there, pearls. I, I, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Look, it, it'll be all right. Everything may still work out. Hmm. The condition was that we had to get a not guilty verdict, and so far the kidnapper has kept his word and hasn't hurt Maya. And he won't, because Mr. On Guard hasn't been given a guilty sentence yet. <laughs> Cheer up! We don't have time to stand around crying. We have to get going. Wow. Y you're right. Mystic Maya is in much more pain than I am. Yes, that's right. So... Hey, you guys! Glad I caught you, pal! No, oh, wow. M Mr. Scruffy Detective. Oh boy. Looks like Detective Gumshoe has been dubbed Mr. Scruffy Detective in Pearls' book now. It's just plain old Mr. Dick Gumshoe now. Or Mr. Dick Gumshoe now. And I came to talk to you, pal. But we're kind of busy right now. Um, we're kind of busy. All right. Future. Let's talk about our future together. Future. <laughs> future. So, so what are you going to do from now on? What do you mean, pal? Well, you've been fired, right? So do you have a new job lined up yet? <laughs> oh, that? I, uh, what am I supposed to do now, pal? That's a little too real. <laughs> I, I don't have anything coming in at all into my next payday. What are you talking about? You don't have another payday. Damn. I guess that means I'm just gonna have to work here at your place, pal. <laughs> say, say what? Have to work. I'm committing. <laughs> You'll be searching for things that'll prove Mr. On Guard's innocence all day, right? W well, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna help you, pal. I've got lots of experience in investigating and watching over people's places. And I'm great at making really simple meals, pal. This is like Angel's dream. I'll take <laughs> care of it all. Oh, male wife. Come on, Mr. Nick. Let's let Mr. Scruffy Detective take care of things. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> By the way, what's your best dish? Also real good at sucking dick. Instant <laughs> noodles, pal. Uh, just, wow. yeah, just an option. Instant <laughs> noodles, pal. <laughs> Yeah, Ooh. instant noodle, that's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> bon appetit. Yeah. <laughs> instant al dente. <laughs> Why am I surrounded by people who only eat cheap, unhealthy foods? That was the first time I've ever seen Mr. Edgeworth act like that. Never thought he'd say something like he didn't care if Miss Andrews killed herself. <gasps> he said that? That's horrible. Well, because of him doing that, we got the truth finally. The truth. Miss Andrews' last testimony. Ugh. I wonder if it was. I wonder if that was the truth. I'll give you that there was nothing strange in her testimony itself. But I still think there is something fundamentally wrong with the whole thing. You mean about that thing, pal? That thing. That thing. Why would she want to. <laughs> no, I mean, almost need to frame Mr. On Guard. I couldn't figure that out from anything she said all day. Then... then you're saying that testimony was a lie? Not a lie, per se. It just feels like there's more here than meets the eye. Like a transformer. <laughs> wick, 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 wick. Oh, her, <laughs> her testimony just transformed into a convertible. Uh, <laughs> or that's what Edgeworth would like us to believe. <laughs> wrong, wrong voice. That's such. That's such a dirty trick. That's such a dirty trick. Even that woman prosecutor was better than that. That was a really good Gumshoe impression. You know what it was? I was gonna do a bit as Gumshoe with a transform. I was doing a bit like what would Gumshoe Gumshoe transform into? And I was just sidetracked. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, what, what do you think you would transform into? Uh, I was no. thinking I don't know, like a like a something like a instant noodle. <laughs> Timer or pot or oh, something. I don't know. Oh, oh like an object. He doesn't I, even get to be a vehicle. No. Wow. Like a, a, a kettle. <laughs> <Anyway>. Wow. 
<laughs> wow. Uh, Francisca von Karma. Speaking of Miss von Karma, do you have any more information on her condition? Ah! Oh. <laughs> Wasn't she shot this morning? Sorry, like, showing Pearl how good this <laughs> gun is. <laughs> That's a really good gun. Yeah. Why does that happen all the time? It's like, <laughs> It's like, it's like Pee Wee's Playhouse, and we're saying the magic word. And that's it, my Oh, that's, that was me just ranting. Okay. <laughs> Let's swap their voices. Ms. Von Karma was shot today on the way to the trial by a pistol pal. <laughs> P pistol pal. P pistol pal. P pistol pal. But, but, but she's going to be fine, right? I mean, Edgeworth said she was in stable condition, but... Well, she was shot in the shoulder, so she's okay and still hanging in there. They should be done taking the bullet out, so she's probably resting at the hospital. Which one? What? Are you gonna visit her, pal? No. Well, I was kind of thinking about it. Hey, you've actually got a heart, don't you? Damn. She looked like she was being tortured to death not being able to go to the trial today. So maybe it'd be good for her if you went and let her whip you for a bit, pal. Like this, and let me borrow her whip. <laughs> Let's go let her whip us, this Nick. No! <laughs> now I'm definitely not going. <laughs> What's whip? I don't know. Cool whip. <laughs> Just like the, the whip and then the nae, -nae. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. The name of the hospital. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Hottie Clinic. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> oh. That name sends a chill down my spine. They're Is never it? gonna let her go. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess it can't hurt to stop by and say hi. It would hurt. It would hurt a lot. <sighs> ahoy. It's kind of ahoy. Don't do it. Don't you. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Well, actually, I know what you were doing. Were you, were you doing the same thing? Yeah. Okay. Grab <laughs> it! All right. <laughs> Go ahead. Never thought I'd ever come back to this place. Mm, yes. <laughs> Are you here to visit a patient? Mm. Uh, hi. Wait a second. You're... Mm, yes. I'm Director Hadi. <laughs> Why are you still here? <laughs> mm, yes. What is it? Mm, can I help you? You can tell me. Mm, yes. Uh, Director Hotty. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> you can be Phoenix instead. Okay. Uh, Edgeworth. Mm, yes. I'm Director Hotty. <laughs> oh, you're the man from this morning. Hmm. Yes. What is it? Uh huh. You have a lozenge. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> Director. Francisca. How is Francisca von Karma? Hmm. You don't need to worry. Hmm. Yes. She's in good hands. Because you see, I'm personally taking good care of her. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Uh. Yes. And that thing, that surgery, it went well. You have my gratitude. Looks like Edward doesn't know about this director and his secret. She looks so pitiful, absolutely terrified. Hmm, yes. But I understand. Hmm, yes, her opponent was a gun after all. <laughs> and when I snuck up on her, real secret like, she would scream really loud. Hmm, yes. I hate you, I hate her opponent you. was a gun. Is she also a transformer? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I see. When you fight Megatron, it truly is terrifying. Yes, I see. Ah, <laughs> oh, but she's really cute, too. When I do that, she'd whip me with her whip. Uh -huh. Boy, do I cry like a baby. <laughs> yes. But I think I could get used to it. I wanna die. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he died. Um, go back to your room. You're so mean. Uh -huh. So mean, my frisky friend. My frisky frisca. <sighs> <sighs> you get me a frisky. <laughs> Okay, okay, I, mm, yes, it's time for my IV drops, mm, yes. And what are those tulips doing in your hand, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Ah, I knew you shouldn't have come here. I got you some flowers. <laughs> <laughs> I was shot in front of the courthouse in my right shoulder. It looks fine to me. <laughs> it's no big deal. This sort of thing happens all the time. These giant poofies protected me. 
<laughs> I even had full intentions of running the trials this morning. But, but that would have been too much. Yeah, like you were deathly scared until only a few minutes ago. But I was dragged here by that prosecutor. He even went so far as to grab me by the wrists the whole way here. It was the only logical course of action, given the bullet was still lodged in your shoulder. Call for an ambulance. But with me doing so, I found myself having to clean up after you and that r irresponsible deal you made. <laughs> I think I know what deal he's referring to. The deal. The deal. <laughs> Miss Von Karma, you made a deal with Miss Andrews yesterday, didn't you? I don't know what you mean. In order to make sure you got your guilty verdict on Mr. On Guard, you told Miss Andrews to not testify in court today. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Do you have proof that I made such a deal? You're denying it? It looks like you were lucky, Mr. Phoenix Wright. If I had been in court today, this trial would already be over. All while hiding Miss Andrews' own crime? That isn't my problem. Whether she had tampered with evidence or not, I have only one objective. To find on guard guilty of murder. The end justifies the means, Mr. Phoenix Wright. The end justifies the means. Miss Von Karma. Adrian Andrews believed when you said, if you don't tell the truth and what really happened, then on guard will be found guilty. And what does that have to do with me? What was that accent? Oh, the, accent <laughs> that. the accent's what, what that has to do with it. <laughs> Because of that, she's now in danger of being found guilty herself. All because she believed in your words until the very end. That still has nothing to do with me. She's just a weak person, that's all. Wow. But you had to know she was... Ow! I think visiting hours here are about over. So if you'll excuse me... What's wrong? Why did she suddenly cut you off? Probably because she thinks I had the advantage in that argument. Worth. Today's trial. What happened today at the trial, Edgeworth? That was not like that was not like you at all. That wasn't like you at all. It was better, better, better. I mean, I know you. Uh, I know you knew about Miss Andrews' condition. You could have made her testify as many times as you wanted, but to go that far. Ah, but she wouldn't testify about that until I said something. Listen, right. The courtroom is a garden of judgment. I am putting myself on the line when I stand in there. And that's why I made the witness do the same. It's only natural. The fuck? By the way, Edgeworth, you were really angry in court today. That's rare for you. Witness that card! Give it to me! Hurry! <laughs> you have any idea what you have stupidly yet inadvertently done? This. I can't believe you hid this from me all this time. Check the card, goof. <laughs> Check the card, goof. <laughs> that card. What in the world is it? You mean this? Listen, right. This is top secret information. You absolutely cannot leak this. A special investigations team has existed for a number of years, but few know of it. I understand. Their task is to find the owner of this card. A man called Shelley the Killer. And just as his name states, he is a killer. An assassin. The best at that. A an assassin? Assassin! So, who is this Shelley the Killer? The Killer is the name of a long-standing line of assassins. Long-standing? The name first appeared about 100 years ago, I hear. Oh. Shelly is the professional name of the third heir to the De Killer name. So because his professional name is Shelly, he leaves cards with a shell on them? He has a habit of making sure to leave a card by the body of his victims. Why would he do something like that? We think it is a part of his duty to his clients. His duty? If he leaves a card, then his clients can be assured it was he who killed the victim. It also serves as insurance against any charges being pushed onto his clients. I see. 
The killer values the trust between his clients and himself above all else. It seems that this is one honorable assassin with a moral conscience. I guess that even honorable assassins can exist. So, you think this assassin... You think he's the one who did the killing in this case? It would appear that way. The discovery of the card basically confirms it, wouldn't you agree? Shelly the killer, huh? Boop. I noticed something at the trial today. You were behaving in a very strange manner. Is something the matter? I guess I should just tell him. Maya, she's been kidnapped. Kidnapped? What does the kidnapper want? An acquittal. I see. I had no idea. I will prepare a rescue team as soon as possible and resolve this by tomorrow. Really? Did you hear that, Mr. Nick? M Mr. Edgeworth is going to... Stop trying to console me, Edgeworth. I don't need your pity. Mr. Nick? What the fuck? <laughs> There's no way he can find her. We don't have. We don't even have a single clue to go on. There's only one way to save her. I... I have to get an acquittal somehow. It's the only way. Right. Listen, you need to know something. Juan Carita was killed by Shelley the Killer. And the client who ordered the job is mad on guard. Your own client. Please stop. I can't listen to you. I can't believe that. I see. Well, if you want to continue your investigation, you will need this. What is it? The hotel right now is restricted to police personnel only, as we are looking for any clues that might lead us to Shelley the Killer. If you take this with you to the hotel, I'm sure they will let you enter. Mm. In any case, I must attend to the preparations for Maya's rescue team. We'll meet again if anything should happen. Now, if you'll excuse me. Mr. Nick, do you... do you think Mr. On Guard hired an assassin? No way. I mean, he doesn't have a psyche lock. Yeah, I guess not. Maya. Please. All I ask is you make it home safe and sound. Make it home. <laughs> Neither of you know this reference. No. To your land of harmony. Anyway. Was that rescuers? No, it's monster. <laughs> anyway. Monster? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you the monster. <laughs> I guess even kidnappers can be a little clumsy. Clumsy enough to drop a card like this for me. And even though he said he was an assassin, I bet he's just making that up. Like how Nick does with everything in court. Nick and just feels yeah. like a heart twitch. Oh! Oh. <laughs> yeah, Nick, you're a warrior. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, let's try out the card trick with this card I just found. This card. Quick. This looks like I got the door open. Okay, time to go take a look around. Um, I was like, I really gotta stop leaving that card around. <laughs> <laughs> Question mark. Do, 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 do. What if this takes place like eight years in the future? Oh shit, I spoiled it for myself. Um, What is this place? What is this place? <laughs> what is that from? <laughs> the Mario movie. Oh, what is this what place? Is this place? <laughs> Just, uh, I've got a feeling I'm not in the hotel anymore. I feel I'm not in Brooklyn anymore. <laughs> in someone's man cave, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> God. Are those videos over there? Well, I'll worry about that later. For now, I should just be looking for clues. That way I can show them to my sis and maybe get out of here. Um... Look at this little bear! This little bear! This little bear! That's weird. What's a figurine doing on a sofa in a place like this? A figurine? Oh! Okay. I think it's... a bear. Oh, how cute! But it's got a lot of cuts and slits on it. I wonder if it's some kind of puzzle or something. It's a transformer. Yeah. Do the transformer sound again? This turns into a, a autopsy report. Mm. <laughs> There's a framed picture sitting on this coffee table. It's a picture of a woman. A woman. She's kind of pretty. A woman. Oh, bye. 
Uh, hey, it looks like there's something written here. Let's see. I think it says, with love, Celeste. I bet this could be a clue. Mm. A clue! A clue, a clue. A, clue. a cat door? Ugh. Locked, of course. It doesn't look like you can use a car to open this door. There's a little hole at the bottom of the door. If only it was a little skinnier, then maybe I'd be able to crawl through here. Clementine? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Clementine, you know what to do. Oh, hey, it's a computer. I've never really used one before. Um, I have no idea where the power switch on this thing is. There goes my plan to use this somehow to get out of here. Have you seen that meme where it's like uh, the way different characters like turn off computer? No. no. It's like properly like going to like shut down, turn oh, off. Okay. Or people that just press the button. Or like uh, like as the character gets stupider, it's like, oh, they unplug it. Or, like, oh, they like smash the computer. <laughs> what do you, do you guys go straight to, you know, you do your proper like start shutdown? I do the proper oh, way. I, I do it too, yeah. The yeah. only time I use like the button for like a shutdown is if like my computer freezes. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, what else can you? Well, do? responsible. Well, a better <laughs> better question is I I think one of the th like the original PS2, uh, part of what could like destroy that thing is always just flipping the switch in the back instead of properly ah uh, turning it mm -hmm. making it red. Ah, yeah. uh, interesting. Yeah. What is this thing? An antenna, I guess. And this is a VCR. There's sure a lot of electronic gadgets here. What is an antenna doing here? Oh, they simply will not do. I cannot have you wandering around at will. Oh shit, did we investigate everything? Ah! It seems that your Mr. Wright is truly concerned about you. He is? For now, I would suggest you remain cooperative. If you cannot, there are ways in which I can help you. Ways? You mean... Dead men tell no tales is how the saying goes, correct? Yes, I've been to Disneyland. Dead? Dead men tell no tales. I'm almost certain I told you on our first meeting. It's kind of... I, oh, I was just going to say, it's not too off from like, the actual accent. He's getting pissed as Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do... No, I was doing the exact... Yeah, I was yeah. trying to do the exact thing. Dead men tell no tales. <laughs> I am an assassin and Disneyland enthusiast. <laughs> no way. You're lying. I mean, who goes to oh, Disneyland? No, I, I have anymore? the magic key. <laughs> oh wow, dream key? Of I course, mean, yes. <laughs> I mean, an assassin. That way, I don't have to pay for parking. People are not always who they appear to be. I mean, it's the only one that's worth it, right? Nick! People are not who they appear to be. My favorite ride is Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> oh my God, relatable. <laughs> Mr. Nick? Hmm? Uh, oh, yes, Pearls? I got caught up in my thoughts about Maya's situation. You're just imagining Almost like I just imagined that whole sequence. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth has left, you know. I guess for now, I have no choice but to believe in Mr. On Guard. I think I should listen to his story one more time. All right. Let's get going, too. Okay. I like that this poor guy has just been there, like, <laughs> waiting. Can someone help? <laughs> I need to see a doctor! <laughs> Please! Um... Oh, does he have more info? Or he's... Probably not! He's just uh, cooking. He's like, hey! <laughs> cooking that all for you. Yeah. Um... Detention center? Yeah. Detention center? Oh, I'm sorry, but visiting hours are over for today. Oh my god, he spoke... Uh, uh, he uh, talked. Uh, I have too many questions I need to ask. I, I'm sorry, but I'm Phoenix Wright, a lawyer for one of the... You're Mr. Wright, you say? Oh, yeah, th there's a message here for you. A message? It's from Matt on guard. Uh, h here you are. Well, what did he write? Is it something really important? I don't know. Well, let's see what it has to say. To the lawyer, dude. I've got something really important to tell you. Why do I feel uneasy all of a sudden? Hmm? 
Oh, Mr. Wright. So, actually, I have a favor to ask of you. I have this cat named Shu. <laughs> I didn't put out a lot of food when I left the house, so he's probably pretty hungry. Think you could drop by my house and feed Shu for me, dude? My house is just a little ways down from the hotel, alright? This is terrible. Let's hurry. We have to feed this cat. I'm sure poor Shu's stomach is growling by now. Yeah, I guess. It's no jammed into a pocket. Wow. A client's request is a request. I guess I should go check up on this cat. All right. Now let's go turn into uh, uh, a, a pet simulator. Yep, meow. Like the ten dogs. Yep, meow, meow, yep. meow, 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 <laughs> meow, 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 meow. Um, meow, how meow. did it go from there meow. to there from here? Meow, 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 meow. Uh, huh. Um, I go, I go. I'd say go to the hotel because he said like oh, I'm like I'm not. I don't live too far away from the hotel. So. Oh, okay, makes sense. Yeah. All right, now, Mister Nick. Let's go look for clues. We have to for Mystic Maya's sake. You shall not pass. No. Oh. Ah, Miss Oldbag. Oh. Don't devalue my name and turn into a gasket, spiky-headed poof. Wow. I don't think that's what they meant. Because of you, they made it look like the bad guy again. Although I did get a piece of gum from Edgy Boy, just as he promised. But what I really wanted was something much more valuable. I wanted Edgy Boo's heart. I wanted it all for me. It's all your fault. You've been waking the wild pieces out of his old bag. Oh, my God. Uh, Ms. Old Bag. That was actually pretty easy to keep up with. Keep your hands off me. This helmet is airtight. No airs gets in and no airs gets out. Oh. <laughs> um, what does your helmet have to do with anything? Huh. Don't think you can get me to move with silly questions. You're gonna have to defeat me if you want to get by. I'm not hearing this. Well, time for a boss battle. Oh wait, what was that thing we agreed on? Yeah. Oh, it's a Sonic one. Yeah. Sonic two. Yeah. I'm not gonna sing a 16-bit song because I'm gonna get accused of falling the wrong side of the speaker or something. I don't know. Oh God. Um. You're a million light years too early to be asking me questions, whippersnapper. Uh, it's like the only way I'm going to get any. The only way I'm going to get any investigating done is to first do something about this kooky alien. Oh, um. So she wants something from Edgeworth. Uh, boop boop. Well, we ain't got nothing. Or actually, do we? We do. Oh right. Um. Wait. How do I present it? Like how you've always done it. <laughs> Go back. <laughs> Go back. <laughs> Go to oh. present. <laughs> See, I thought. Oh, so wait. I thought I just pressed a shortcut for my stuff. Okay. I don't know. Like, like, why just not have the option there for a specific version of the menu? In case you don't want to present. I don't know. That's actually a pretty good point. <laughs> hmm. Maybe if I show her this letter I got from Edgeworth. Um, Miss Oldbag, if you would look at. Well, you want me to look at this worthless piece of... <laughs> Edgy poo. Ugh. Is that her perfume? Oh. Pheromone... Pheromone d'amour? D'amour. D'amour. Pheromone d'amour, I smell? Ugh. Let's see here. Would you please allow this unsophisticated young person to conduct his investigation? Yours truly, Miles Edgeworth. Y yours truly? <laughs> that man's good at flattery. Fine, but only because Edgy Poo said so, you understand? Letter of introduction. She licks the letter. I just uh. thought of something I have to do. <laughs> uh. I'm gonna take some time alone with this letter. <laughs> Remember, no messing around. You do anything bad, I won't let you off the hook. I'm gonna roll it up. <laughs> It looks like she has strong feelings for Mr. Edgeworth. That may be, but you know nothing's go going to come of it. No, you, you know nothing's going to come of it. That's so me, Mr. Nick. Feelings are meant to be told and shared. Bitch. Oh. 
Every time we talk about love, I always end up with a handprint on my face somehow. Um, so anyway, let's continue our investigation. Okay. Ah! What? What now? One little thing before I forget. You can't go into On Guard's room today. Why? The police's main investigation team is going to be in there all day, you hear? Why? <laughs> I wonder if they're, they're the team in charge of investigating to kill her. So don't go in there! Set one foot in there, you'll face the wrath of Wendy, old bag! All right, let's keep on investigating. Yeah, let's go to the let's go to the hall. Let's go to the hall. Let's all go to the hall. Holly, Holly. Looks like we're the only ones here. And yet, the hotel seems so busy somehow. No one ate all this food. Probably because the police team is scoring, scouring, the, scouring. Yeah, sorry. Team is scouring for clues about the killer. And scoring the theme song for the killer. That's right. I mispronounce words in my head. <laughs> no, no, no. I'd be finding that out to m about myself every episode. Um, I, eat that food. I, I mean, do. I'm pretty hungry right now, so I get it. Uh, I guess there's nothing worth investigating here. It's a shame. No, no um, it's champagne. It's champagne. Oh God. Champagne. Champagne. Yeah. Hey, city boy! L Lotta, you're still here? Wrecking course! An investigative photographer eats or starves on her ability to snap up the scoop, yeah? This hotel just has the... Ow. <laughs> this has the... This hotel has the aura of mystery. You know, like something's always about to happen. But do you have a camera? Wreck given! <laughs> Photographers gotta have cameras out the ear like corn to be a real pro, you know. So I'm hanging around here. Speaking of cameras and feeding the mouth, do you have mine, you bread thief? You can be Phoenix. Why can't you drop that thief thing already? Um, but I do have it. Right? No, wait. Do I have it? Do I have what? The camera. Uh, I don't know if um, you would do. you please look at this? I have no idea what that is. I've never seen that before in my entire life. Why would you show me that? Uh, a, a steaming hand. Wait, what? Steam, steam hands. Steam of hands. <laughs> nope, nope. I, I, it very silly that you presented a lot of camera to me and a lot of pretend like I've never seen that before. How convenient. Sorry. All right. It's <laughs> just like the dumb dialogue. Yeah, yeah. So I think it just talked here. Boo, boo, night of the moita. I want to ask you about the Night of the Moida. What? You got? You really gonna shout out the bucks for the info I got? Lada, you were loitering in this hallway the night of the murder, were you not? Well, kinda, but... Brace yourself, right? Here it comes. I didn't exactly hang around here the entire time, you know. Followed a few stars around. Got a few autographs, shook a few hands, had a soda pop with a few of them too. Looks like she wasn't here the entire time, uh, that night. The security lady also wasn't in this hallway the whole time either. I guess this means there's no one who can tell us, uh, who came and, and went that night. So, about the note that was inside your camera case. <clears throat> oh, that diddy I wrote? Yeah. Can I believe what you've written? You mean the stuff about On Guard shoving his manager lady onto Corita? Yeah. Ah, well, I reckon you best not be believing that. What? Look, I Or stories, Miss Turner, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I sort of wrote that on a whim, you know? Writing whatever came to mind. Whatever came to mind? Yeah. When you get down to it, it's just a lot of random bull dooders. Um... <laughs> uh... Uh. <laughs> hey, what's with you? Why are you start? Why are you staring at me like my grandpa used to? Hmm. Sorry. <laughs> Lotta, this is your grandpa for speaking. <laughs> <laughs> I, you. I forbid you for writing bad stuff like that. All right. Hey, and why do you look like you suddenly got older too? Why am I just shrinking here? Um. Ah, my baby! My $1,600 baby! 
What's with that red-coated prosecutor, anyhow? That guy told me it was evidence, and he refused to give it back to me. Well, that's kind of how it is. Hey, hey. You're that Redcoat's friend, ain't you? Uh, um... I'll put in a few good words for me and get me back my camera. Y you want me to do what? Listen, nag the guy real good for about five hours, and I guarantee he'll give it back. Why don't you do your own dirty work? Hmm. Well, I reckon it's time for me to get going. Tabloid photographer without a camera is just a tabloid, huh? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Keep yourself together out there, you hear? I'm coming to see you in court tomorrow. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll see you then. And you too there, little un. Keep up the good work, okay? Okay. Don't be picking back your food now. Okay. And make sure you do all your homework, you hear? Fuck no. <laughs> and if you happen to find yourself a camera, make sure you bring it right to me. Would you please just leave already? Would you get out of here? <laughs> Would you get out you of here? You stop with this foolishness. Um, so we could go to Karida's room. Yeah. But not on guard. No. Do, 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 do. We can uh, come back later. Mr. Nick. They're just wrestling. They're just wrestling. Uh, oh, what is that otherworldly ghastly moaning? I hate evil ghosts. <laughs> I don't think it's a ghost. Maybe it's a demon. Excuse me? Watch who you're calling a demon, bro. <laughs> oh, God. Ah. I think this is you then. Sure. Zoinks! It's the alien! Who are you calling an alien? Oh. It's just you, Miss Old Bag. What are you doing here? What is wrong with young and today? I came down here to pay my respects to my poor Juan, and you're disturbing me. Oh. You were crying. Please talk to me about the night of the murder just one more time. I talked about it plenty at the trial. I was fooled, tricked, deceived by that fraud of a photographer and her note. She was loitering around here with that imbecilic look on her face. With that imbecilic look on your face? Okay, got it. <laughs> and now, hold on a second there, you little pipsqueak! If you're going to take notes, at least make me sound better than that. Oh, alright. Now, now I've seen everything. But you know, I was working that night too, doing my job, minding my own business. So it's not like I had time to waste standing around here the whole night. I was wondering if you could tell me a bit more about Mr. Corita. He was the most popular star, you know, especially where it counts in my book. I heard that he was lagging behind in the polls against Mr. On Guard. Uh, well, that's just a recent thing. Bad luck and all that, you know. But he was going to become an even bigger star than he used to be. Look, just look at this mountain of presents. It's a show of the mountain of feelings all his fans had for him. Yeah, the mountain is pretty big. It's certainly nothing to shake a stick at. Mr. Nick? Hmm? What is it, Pearls? The presents. They're all bears, right? She's got a point. There isn't a single thing here that isn't a bear. The presents. It's the presents. <laughs> all Mr. Corita's presents from his fans seem to be bears. <laughs> oh, that's because you can't think of Juan without thinking about bears. Because he's a bear. Bears? Why bears? Because he's a bear. You don't know. When my dear Juan was training, he fought barehanded with a bear. I was going to say, I'll tell you when you're old. I'll tell you when you're old. <laughs> he refused to give in and let the bear win, but after the fight, they became friends. Wow, what a heartwarming story. Look, it's just like in those young people's dramas. I can see those two tuckered out down by a river going... You, you sure can fight. You too, Bob. You too. Did all that really happen? It's in his biography, Bob. <laughs> what a load of crock. So ever since then, fans have been giving him bears his presents. Yeah, nice. Bears. <laughs> What's wrong with bears? Bears. Bears. Um, can we Beats. get one more? Battlestar Galactica. Can we uh, get another thing out of it? We can move on. Okay. From the whole room. 
Oh, yeah, from the whole room, or? Wait, what? Are you saying from the whole room? Should we leave the premises? Yeah, we can go. Cool. Right. There's nothing else. We're going to go into tomorrow. Oh. Wait, what? We're, we, we're we, going. We're, we're into going. Into the future. Into the future. See tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh. Or if you're watching the playlist in a few seconds. Okay. We got to go eat. Bye. <laughs>